Police spokesman J.J. Trevino tells the Associated Press that Miguel Garcia, who attempted to escape custody, was responsible for today's violence. CBS 4's Ms. Um, Imelda Mejia is live from the neighborhood in Brownsville where a man was killed during that violence, and she's doing just right now. Imelda? Eddie, it's a sad night out here in this Brownsville neighborhood, but I want to bring attention to this right here. Neighbors have already started bringing out flowers and candles to the victim's family to help them get through this tough time. Now, this incident all began around 1 p.m. this afternoon at the ABC Pediatrics office in Brownsville. That's where county guards were transporting Miguel Garcia to get medical care when the inmate grabbed the weapon and slashed at the guard with him and seriously injured him. That's when Garcia jumped into the resaca and swam toward a house. He then made contact with the 56 year old Mario Martinez. Garcia shot him and stole his car. Martinez died at the scene. Residents say that he was just there at the wrong place at the wrong time. I was a very scared mess. I lowered all my windows and closed all my doors for security because my kids said, oh, mom, it could have been you. But of course, at that time, it had already happened. From Brownsville, the inmate led officers on a high-speed chase ending in San Benito right behind the Gilman car dealership. The inmate and officers exchanged gunfire right there. The inmate was then taken to a local hospital, but he died from his, room, from his wounds. We're told Garcia was serving time on multiple charges, but we won't, weren't told what those charges were. There is a press conference being held Friday morning with more details to come. Live in Brownsville, Emil. Mejia, CBS4 News and TheValleyCentral.com.